Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing just like a get ready with me. I'm not really sure if this is going to be like a chit chat get ready with me or if this is going to be a tutorial. Kind of might be a mix of the two, but it's not all going to be chit chat. I literally just woke up like 10 minutes ago, got up, washed my face, did my hair. So there's still like little lines on my face and all over my arms if you can see that. Don't mind those, I just didn't feel like I needed to wait for all that to go down for me to start filming. That's a waste of time, girl. We gotta prioritize the day. Today I'm gonna be using the Dream Street palette and as I talked about in my chit chat get I'm ready with me, I said that I tried to do a glam look with this. I'm not gonna be doing that one today, but if you still want that one, then I can do that. I wanted to be more creative and I wanna use this color and this color do a halo eye with that and i'm really inspired by nicole renee's look that she just did i think she did those two shades mostly warmer i was like hmm i'll just invert that kind of thing i really liked that technique and how she meshed colors that you wouldn't think would go so i want to do today i really want to go glam even though i did in my last makeup tutorial but it's fine i really hope y'all enjoy the video and let's just get started as always i'm gonna prep my wings with my swam tea super smooth bonesy alarm and i'm just gonna go ahead and set that with my face powder Aoi studio perfect setting powder i'm going to take the super fluffy brush e127 i'm gonna go in with shooting star first and then i'll probably go in with magical as well just get a nice transition shade it doesn't matter where this goes whether it's all the way on the lid or not i'm just kind of buffing this everywhere nicole renee she's just talked about how much she loved this palette and ever since i got my jaclyn hill palette honestly i haven't touched any other eyeshadows which is kind of rude i need to really dig back into my collection again and so i'm going to go with that warmer shade of magical and probably just focus this up in the crease i love kathleen i love this palette recently i haven't been creative at all but then whenever i did that whole face using products that i never use i went out of my box and now i'm just like make me do everything out of my box now that we have those very warm shades on these two shades are going to be what's together and what would be a good crease those are the three options that orange looks really pretty with those three i was gonna do the brown which also looks pretty but it makes it a lot darker i might actually end up using that orange now i'm gonna go in with the really warm shade potion on the same brush because i literally never change brushes i'm just gonna tap a lot off because i don't want too much on there and this is literally just gonna darken the transition shades whenever i do tutorials i don't keep in all the blending i cut pretty much everything out because me as a watcher i don't watch all of that whenever they sit there and blend like in slow motion like this and i'm just like okay we all get how to blend um from the first few times that i blend like i'll obviously blend like once that's not all the blending i'm doing so if that was it then it wouldn't be blended if one day you want me to do a whole how-to video i'll probably keep all the blending in i feel like if you're gonna click on these like creative looks then you're gonna be pretty comfortable with crazy look you know i really don't like watching all the blending because it's kind of repetitive and i'm gonna go in with spark and lightly bring that in but i do remember that this isn't like too too pigmented actually i'm gonna go on this with a smaller brush i'm gonna go ahead and do those first i'm gonna go in with the e1 Three, six. These are all by LA Studio. Go in with that same spark shade and just really focus this in the crease. We'll try and blend it up later. Just try not to go down any. I know halo eyes, I feel like they're supposed to be round, but all my looks end up having a sharp edge. I'm glad I swatched those three shades because I've been doing that dark brown right now. Oh, I'm so excited. Even though I am doing more creative looks now, like this is only my second one, so I really don't know what to do next. Y'all need to tell me what you want to see or if you want to see some more wearable looks then tell me what you want to see it helps if i know what y'all want to see the part i'm kind of scared of is like bringing the green in the crease like i think i need to bring this water bearer shade in my crease i do think that i need to have something down on the outer and inner corner for that to stick to i'm gonna go in with this really pointed flat brush and this is the e129 just bring it like as close to the crease as i possibly can kind of made it look like a little bit of a cut crease but i'm not going this is pigmented in the crease because i barely tapped in it and then i tapped off literally all of it but there's still color coming out we'll just go ahead and bring some on the outer corner just so we're not doing nothing i'm gonna go back in with that water bearer shade but on a more precise brush 132 load up my brush 
barely top of any. I wake up early anyways, like I pretty much wake up at 8 every day, which that might not be too early to some people, and that might be super early to some people. But I pretty much wake up at 8 every day, then I don't get out of bed till like 8.30, and that's what happened on Monday when I filmed. I was putting this on the inner corner, obviously. It was 10.30 by the time I was done, then I did my quiet time. I've been trying to read Matthew. It was just so late that I felt like I was wasting the whole day away. Yesterday, like when I didn't film and I got up at 8 and I pretty much went straight into reading. I was done by 10. I literally had the whole day and I didn't know what to do with myself. I'm just trying to buff this outer corner, blend it a little bit, which is kind of, you know, removing the shadow, but it's fine. Now I'm going to take that shade on my finger on the inner corner because I feel like it honestly just disappeared and I don't know how it did that, but it did. I'm just going to do a little bit of a meat and little type situation. I think I'm ready to do the shimmer shade, but before that, I honestly kind of want to spray my eyelid to keep this on. Before that, I want to go in with more of that orange shade on a super precise brush. This kind of brush again, go right above that. I haven't seen this look before. I feel like that's pretty even. I'm also going to highlight my brow. We're going to use Manny. It's probably not going to be too intense, so we'll highlight later as well. I've actually been liking highlighting my brow bone with a fluffier brush. I feel like it applies it so much better, like it would a face highlight. I think everything's looking great. I feel like this could be a mistake spraying my eyelid. We're gonna try it. And I'm gonna do it with the Mario Rescue spray, but I'm just gonna spray it first because I really don't want to get anything like sick, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna look and make sure there's no dots. Obviously, this is great for the face too, so I'm not complaining. I'm gonna put down, I tried three different one of these to put under it. I chose this one because I could use this for the inner corner base as well. This is Fringe from ColourPop. I'm just gonna put this as a little bit of a base. Make sure that it doesn't go up in the crease at all, and if it does, then we'll just take that brush and flick it off. I kind of like having not too much of the base because it can blend it easier. And we're gonna take Twinkle. And this goes with orange tones. After I get that all padded in, I'm gonna take a pretty thin brush, but then at the same time it can move a little bit. I'm going to tap in it, barely top it off, and just kind of make sure the crease has enough in it, and then also kind of blend the outer corners. Because if I did it on my fingers, I feel like I'd get too much intensity. I feel like this one is always the better blended eye, because this one is kind of still a little choppy. I'm gonna go in with elf detail crease brush i'm gonna go back in with spark i think it's called and just go in over that and blend to make sure there's no shimmer which there will still be because it's gonna keep transferring if i don't set this i think that's pretty good and i can set that in place again we just don't want any shadows moving just make sure it's completely dry before you open your eyes i'm gonna just go put on maybelline lash sensational and alexis lashes where my I haven't used this face primer in forever, and it's the Wet Mild Dewy Primer. Yeah, feels so good. I used my Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer in the video that I filmed that I was saying that I just didn't like. I also did like foundation, and I didn't realize how awful my skin looked. I've just been doing like a luminous primer or even the Maybelline Blur and Smooth. That's a more natural kind of smoothing and it's more moisturizing. I've either been using just a concealer or I've been using that BB cream and I haven't realized how much that doesn't look like foundation. Like it literally looks like skin because when I put on my Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation, which I used to love, my face looked so unnatural, so powdery, so dry and textured. I'm gonna use the AOA Studio Wonder Cover Corrector in Peach. Since this is a dramatic look, I want to make sure that all the darkness is gone. I've been loving this makeup revolution. Conceal and define. Coverage oh, concealer. And corrector. I'm actually going to blend this out with my finger and see what this looks like. When I go to the beach, I'm so ready to get freckles. If you look at the videos last year during the summer, I have so many freckles. And like, I have freckles, but like, you know, there's not really that many. And like, yes, girl, I'm about to be getting the boom. I so want to go to Taylor Swift's concert so bad. I keep seeing videos, but they're so expensive. I'm going to set my face with the same Daily Studio Perfect Sun Powder. Yeah, this powder is like magic. I think it's actually better than the Maybelline Bit Me Foods. I think I'm just going to do bronzer and I'm going to use the All Flight Matte Bronzer. I just feel like this look is just like warm. I need to have 
just bronzer. I'm gonna do blush. I saw it coming. I'm using my Amuse Blush in Sunsets because it matches this look perfectly. Time for highlighter. I haven't used the Sofax highlighter. Just mix those two. But like mostly that one. I should honestly just use the setting spray technique with every highlighter. But every highlighter needs it. And I just connect it with my brow. And I know I'm like totally putting it in my brow right now. But I do my brows after all this. Ooh, look how gorgeous that is. I've been trying to do this like kind of bridge of the nose recently. Because like everyone's doing that for some reason. Oh, I feel like that looks really weird on my nose. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to it. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're gonna use the best setting spray on our essence. Okay, perfect sun spray. I'm gonna head into my brows. Black tight line liner. I connected my lash band with the wet mild liner. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna go into the elf detail crease brush and spark that orange. I know I'm a daredevil going straight in with it. No transition shade or anything. I'm gonna go in with E124 and go in with Water Bear and put this on the outer corner and the inner corner and just leave that orange peeking through. We're gonna take fringe. Once again, you probably don't need it. We're gonna take a winkle. I'm gonna take that brush again with a new additional product and just try and blend it in. Now I'm gonna go in with fringe on the inner corner as well. I'm gonna top it off with Sweet Dreams. I'm going over it with the white shade from the Silfex palette and then I'll top it back off with the Sweet Dreams. I don't think I'm gonna do anything in the waterline. I'm gonna go back in with the Elf Detail Crease Brush with that orange shade since you can't see it at all. Just under all of it. I need to move on to the lip. Maybelline Clay Crush. Ooh, this is such a pretty nude. I always end up trying this on when I don't have makeup on. Nudes don't look good when I don't have makeup. I'm gonna be trying this Moon Child Gloss again. Literally everyone is raving about it. I just don't like the glitter in it. Every time everyone else puts it on, it literally looks like magic. We're gonna try. Who else is so angry about ColourPop changing their applicator? Like, I don't know about the formula, but like, Come on, like why would you change it to a brush applicator? I really love this lip gloss. Now I know why everyone is saying they will love it. I actually can't see the glitter. Okay guys, so this is the finished look and I love it and I hope y'all do too because I actually got creative. This kind of screams fall a little bit to me, but it's fine. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribe down below. It would mean so much to me and also please check out any of my other videos. Please leave any video recommendations down below. Any creative makeup look ideas, natural makeup look ideas, challenge videos, favorites, any video you want me to do. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!